Hello and welcome back to KNF Design. If you're new here, my name is Katie and please give me a like and subscribe down below so we can keep crafting together. Today I am trying out puffy HTV vinyl. So that's just like an iron on type vinyl, but it'll puff up. I have this pretty green shirt. Um, they are all the golden brand. This one is 50% cotton, 50% polyester. I have a blue, <clears throat> which is 100% cotton, as well as a little baby onesie, which is 100% cotton as well. So I'll show you how to make that puff with that vinyl. And if you would like to know what types of materials you need, what type of puff vinyl I bought, just look down below in the link in the description and I even have some links there to the specific materials I bought. So with that, let's get crafting. So to place a vinyl into a Cricut machine, this one is a regular HTV iron-on and you typically do shiny side down and you mirror your image. Um, I'm going to be using, this is my puffy one, but the white's kind of hard to tell. So I'm showing you with my black uh, puffy. Typically, the puffy is the opposite and it'd be the shiny side up. Mine's a little different, um, so just make sure you check yours before you place it. But an easy way to tell is here in the corner. You can tell this is the carrier sheet, which is on the shiny side, and this is the door side. So the shiny is that carrier, and then the door side's actually my vinyl, which is the same as my HTV. So the shiny side here that's that clear piece and then that where the white is is the door side that's my vinyl so you always want that carrier sheet to be on the mat because you don't want to actually cut through the carrier sheet um so you do mirror for both the puffy and the htv but just make sure you check your vinyls um, because every, even, this one's a Cricut brand, but there are some HTVs that you do not do it this way. So always just check what type you're using. Um, put the carrier sheet down, and I will be mirroring both of mine. Um, there's not currently a setting for the puffy vinyl in Cricut design space. So I will be doing my HTV um, iron-on everyday iron-on setting with more pressure and that should work. Now, on your Cricut machine here, you, this is your load button and this is your go button. Once it runs and it, you hit load it, then you, this will flash, you hit go, it'll do the, your cuts. Then you typically hit unload, but before you hit your unload, just check that it cut through the vinyl, not all the way through, through the carrier sheet, but just the vinyl itself. If it did not, you can hit go again. Um, if it did, then you can hit unload and we can move on to the next step. So I have three different types of shirts I'm going to be using. Um, the first, they're all the Gildan. Um, this green one is a 50% poly, 50% cotton. The baby onesie and the dark blue are both 100% cotton. Um, I have weeded out my regular HTV as well as my puffy, so it doesn't look too much different. Um, and we will need to preheat, I pre-washed all my shirts and that just helps with the puffy. Um, it makes it a little bit more puffier if you pre-wash your shirts first. And then I will take a lint roller to them to get all the hairs off. I will pre, I'm preheating my heat press here. We will 
preheat it to, um, I'm doing 315 for the normal HTV and the preheat, usually you just do like five or 10 seconds. I'm actually going to do it for 30 seconds because you really need to get all that moisture out for this puffy vinyl. Um, and I'll do all of my regular HTV first on the shirts and then at the end we'll do the puffy because that you don't want to do more um, presses with. If the more presses that you do, the less it'll puff up. It'll kind of take out some of that puff. Now for the puffy, when we do those, I'm actually going to use this cutting board and put it underneath. This is one I've used, so it's pretty scratched up, so it might give it some texture to the puff, um, but that'll just help with the pressure because with the puffy, the more pressure, the more it will puff up. And then I also have the little um, shirt things that you can place down, obviously not for the baby one, but so you know your center and how far down to do it. Um, I will link those in case you would like to make some yourself. They are pretty handy. So once my thing gets up to the right temperature, we'll preheat it for 30 seconds. Then um, at the 315, we'll apply all the HTV and that'll be for um, about 30 seconds as well. And then I'll lower the temperature to 305 for my puffy and only do it for about 10 seconds. And then you can pull the puffy right away and see if it puffed. Also in the design, make sure that you group things so it's a little bit easier to lay them down. Um, you just do that by hitting the items that you want to um, keep together when it's cut on the machine. Your Cricut and just hit the attach button. So I actually forgot on these little pieces here, the mother, to group them so they came in different orders. I didn't hit the attach button. So I'm just going to have to individually place those next to each other, which won't be a big deal because they're pretty easy to do. But for some of these things, or like the element names, you don't want to have to individually place all of those letters. So just make sure you hit the attach before you make it. So we have a wood underneath. I actually put the carrier sheet back over the HTV just so that doesn't get on our iron.
hard to tell for you, but I can see it's already starting to puff up there. So I did the dead shirt with 15 seconds and it has more of this texture to it, but it's puffier. And then the mom shirt, it's a lot um, smoother, but they don't puff as much. That was done with just 10 seconds. So it just depends what style you like. So I have the HTV all done and I'll take off the plastic and put the um, puffy underneath here. And then I can't decide, you'll have to let me know what you like better. I should put the doorbell on the front here. Or should I do it on the back? Let me know down below which way you like better. So this is the 15 seconds on complete cotton. Um, it, so I think the 15 seconds, it makes it like the fuzzy, which I kind of liked for the baby. That's why I did it. If you like it smoother, then just do the 10 seconds. So I did the 15 seconds for the top, which made it fuzzy, but I think I'm going to do the element part on the bottom. I'm only going to do 10 seconds so it's not the fuzzy for the back. And just make sure I'm leaving this part out of the heat press so it doesn't get pressed again because it'll lose some of that puff. Just watch out, those buttons will get hot. Oh no, I messed it up. What I didn't get it down enough with the buttons. Yeah. I don't know if it's because of the buttons, but that didn't get down. Oh yeah, that needs some heat. I might have to do the iron. It's, like it's more so. Interesting. Yeah. So I didn't get my press down all the way. It's really hard to press down and I thought it'd be okay if I just partially pressed it down. Um, but as you can see, my E didn't get puffy as the others did. And actually when I started to peel back too, it um, didn't quite hold down. So I'm just going to use my hand iron real quick just to do a quick press on it.
So the second press did take out some of that puff, but at least it's on there now. So that's what happens when you use a hand iron and if you press it a second time. I had a lot of fun playing around with this puppy vinyl, so I hope you give it a try. Don't forget those links are down below if you'd like to use the same ones I used as well as just knowing some other materials you might need. You have to let me know if you liked the dad version where the puff is kind of like this cool texture to it, or if you like the mother version where it's the puff is nice and smooth. Um, I personally liked the puff on the baby onesie. Um, the baby onesie did not puff as much as the shirts did, but I think it's because it's not as much material for it. So if you take your shirt and turn it inside out, which is how you are going to clean it, um, these have all been sitting over 24 hours. And so once they've sat for at least 24 hours, you can wash them like normal, just turn them inside out. And then when you go to dry them, just hang dry them. Don't put them in a dryer. So right here where the K is, see if that will show up. There it is. So you can see it kind of grabs that shirt material. This is that puffy vinyl. And so that's how it kind of gets that puff on the other side because it grabs some of the shirt and pulls it to help it puff. So it's kind of an interesting technique. Um, and then I liked just the show on the dead. So you can put it directly on the shirt like these are. Or like the word dad, I actually layered it over the normal HTV vinyl. So both ways worked just fine. Um, and you'll have to let me know again if you liked that textured version or the smooth version. Or maybe you like me and like both and it just depends what type of idea you are coming up with on which way you'll use it. Um, so the one with the textured here that was done on 15 seconds, and this is a 50% uh, cotton shirt, 50% polyester shirt. And then the smooth version is done on 100% cotton for just 10 seconds. I think it's more to do with the time and the amount of pressure in that time. So if you like the textured version, then heat it for 15 seconds. If you want it more smooth, then do it for just 10 seconds. So I hope you give these a try and let me know how they turn out for you and I'd love to see what you make as well. I had a lot of fun crafting with you this week and I will see you next week. Bye for now.